Hi guys, Nick at Clean PC, and today we're going to go over customizing Elementary OS 5.1.6. Just want to say thank you. I've got a decent number of views on my Elementary OS video, and got a few inquiries about how to change the look and feel. So we're booted into the desktop right now, and you can see I've got a different wallpaper, I've got a different dock, and I've got different icons. So we're going to walk through the process of how you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and open Firefox, and I'll include all the links that we go to uh, in the video information so you can get those there. First one I want to go to is this GitHub link. So thanks to this GitHub user right here, he's done a really nice job laying out elementary OS apps and configs. So the first thing I did is I installed elementary tweaks. So I opened a terminal window and I ran these two commands. Once you do that, under settings, you can go ahead and you'll have elementary tweaks here under personal. So if you just click that, you can see you've got appearance, fonts, animations, miscellaneous, and then some stuff under applications for files, launcher, terminal, and videos. You can see under theme, I kept elementary for GTK+, and I kept the cursor the same as well. But under icons, I have a different theme. This is going to be a little bit later in this video, but you can see these icons right here are part of this theme. So install elementary tweaks, and you'll have this window here where you can customize this. You can obviously also go in here and customize the fonts to your likings, etc., but I didn't do any of that. I just did the icons. The next thing I would suggest doing is they've got a couple of links for Plank themes. So... This one's pretty cool. You have to install git. So sudo app git install git. And if you do that, you can then do a git clone. You change your directory to plank themes. And then you can run this install script. And the nice thing about doing that is that it creates the folder uh, for all your themes at that point. So if we go ahead and we open this, we can see I'm at home user plank themes. I've got a lot more. This only has three in it, and we'll go over how to get all these from one spot. So we're going to go down here to another GitHub link. So again, thanks to this user right here. So they have compiled 107 Plank themes, so you can just download this whole thing, and when you do that, you can copy and paste them into this directory, home user Plank themes. Now, once you have all your Plank themes in there, in Terminal, you can run Plank Preferences. So, under Theme, you can see I've got all of these themes. So, if I choose this one, it's going to change to it. And same thing. We can choose this, and this, and all the different themes. I think I have... A little bit more, maybe you have 110 in total, but um, pretty cool that you can go through and do this. And like I said, you can change it to whatever suits your taste. Really cool to be able to do that, though. So I'm gonna go back because I like this theme right here. And again, you can change any of these options that you want. The behavior. I did add a docklet myself. This one right here. So just to show you just shows the desktop right so it minimizes all the windows so that's how you can customize plank down here also want to show you another github page so here I was able to download this icon theme so I downloaded it and then you actually have to install it I'll show you to this location right here user share icons now, what's a little bit tricky about that is you've got to go in there as administrator. So if you download the icon theme, it'll probably go to your downloads folder unless you choose to download it somewhere else. But you've then got to go to this directory. So if we go to file system as root, and we go here, you can see here's the two folders that I copied in these two icon themes. 
but you have to do this as root. You can't do it as a regular user through the GUI. Now, if you want to do it through the terminal, you certainly can do that. Um, just showing you from a visual aspect how you do it with File Manager. So if you copy and paste those in there, and we go back to Settings and Tweaks, you can see here it is. And you can see I only have a couple more in there. Um, but I really like this one. I think it's really cool. So I'm going to keep this as is, just showing you how you can do that. So, so far we were able to change the dock, we installed elementary tweaks, and we update our icon theme. The last thing I just want to show you is uh, for images, it's a really cool site. These are royalty free images, um, and each image has licensing with it, so you can just be sure you're able to use it. But check this site out. I went ahead and downloaded this image right here. And I actually used the GNU image manipulation program to modify it just with one small element. So you can see down here, I just added the elementary logo to it. So, and with that, uh, I have it in Finder here so I can show you. All you have to do is right click, and you can say set as desktop background. Another cool thing um, in elementary tweaks, I'll go back and show you, but you kind of notice these, this icon theme is pulled into with this right here. And so why that's relevant, if we go here, we look at layout for Windows control, it models Windows. So you have that, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So close, expand, minimize. And it pulled these circle icons from the icon theme. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just run a NeoFetch to show you. Kind of nice. Only using 673 megs of memory. So with that kind of cool, we've got, in my opinion, a very modern looking desktop with a customized dock and customized icons. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'll include all the links in the video information. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.